Recording in progress. Hi everyone, so in this video, I want to show you how to build a molecule using the virtual experiment by PET simulation. Before we start, I want to introduce myself. My name is Christopher. I am from Tunas Bangsa Gading Serpong Senior High School and I am grade 10 science 1. So before we start the virtual experiment, we should know what is a molecule. A molecule is a smallest particle of a substance that has all of the physical and chemical properties of that substance. Molecule comes from the Latin word moles, which means mass. The word change becomes molecula in modern Latin, then change becomes molecule in French, then lastly change becomes molecules in the late 18th century. Okay. Uh, for your information, uh, who even the molecule? Lorenzo Romano Am Madeo Carlo Avogadro, or we, or we call Amadeo Avogadro, or Avogadro, even the molecule. And this is the picture of the Avogadro. Okay. So next, this is the link of the pet simulation. So this is the view of the website of the pet simulation. So we click the play button and we wait for about two minutes. So after we click the play button, this is the view of the pet simulation. There are three features. They are single multiple and playground features so first we click the single features then in this single features we should complete the goals in the collection one so first we see the water chemical formula that is H2O so uh, it requires two hydrogen because the subscript is two and one oxygen so first we take the oxygen atoms then we take two hydrogen atoms and we combine with the oxygen okay so then we put into the black box we complete the first goal and let's see the 3d structure so this is the 3d structure so the oxygen is in the middle and between the oxygen there are the hydrogens so and the last one is the bonding of a uh, bonding structure so next we go to the molecular oxygen so it requires two oxygen because of the subscript is two so we take two oxygen and we combine with oxygen and for your information if you want to separate the oxygen just use they just press the or click the blue with the four arrows okay so we put into the black box it reached the second goal next the hydrogen uh, I mean the molecular hydrogen so we take the two hydrogen it because it requires two hydrogen and we combine and we put on the black box which the goals the third goals next carbon dioxide so we take one carbon because it's one it requires one and we take two oxygen because the subscript is two for the oxygen and we combine the oxygen with the carbon and we put on the black box and last one is the molecular nitrogen so we take two nitrogen atoms because it requires two because of the subscript one and two and we combine 
and you put on the black box and it reach all the goals and you may complete the other collection but I want to show you how to use the other features so we click the multiple features so in the goal the difference with between the multiple and the single one is the multiple have the coefficient so first uh, first goal we should make two carbon dioxide so we find the carbon and the oxygen so we take two carbon because they're because of the coefficient the coefficient it's uh, are two so two carbons and we take four oxygen atoms because they are it requires two subs uh, there's subscript and the coefficient there two in the subscript and two of the coefficient and we multiply the coefficient with the subscript so two times two equals to four so one and we combine one two one and two so we put on the black box one reach the first goal so next uh, we go to the molecular oxygen it requires two molecular oxygen so first we take the oxygen one and two and we put on the black box so if it is empty we can uh, refill again so one and two so we put on the black box the second goal of the collection so next uh, for molecular hydrogen so one and two put in the black box and refill again one and two refill again two one and two and the last one one and two that's the third goal of the collection the last one is two ammonia or two and h3 okay so we take two nitrogen atoms because of the coefficient and we take six hydrogen atoms because uh, the three times two equals to six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we combine with the nitrogen atoms. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And we put on the black box. One, and two. It says you complete your collection. You may click the next collection, but I want to explain about the last features that is playground, uh, playground features. So we click the playground feature. So in this feature, we can explore more about the molecule or atoms. So for example, like silicon atoms, we combine, for example, with hydrogen. It becomes a lane and we see the 3d structure okay so the silicon atoms is the center and between the silicon there are four hydrogens and this is the bonding so next for example like boron with maybe carbon hydrogen so it becomes metal and boron and this is the structure so this CH2B so how about with sulfur 
so maybe as b because thioxoboron is the structure b s or phosphorus with maybe oxygen and hydrogen maybe oh no becomes phosphor phosphinous acid so this is the structure okay how about nitrogen or bromine so okay i'll take the bromine or become molecular bromine separate maybe or maybe with nitrogen or so become boro and min boro and mine okay boro and mine so this is the structure and the bonding h2 b r n okay how about chlorine or fluorine no oh, it cannot okay how about chlorine with carbon and maybe H or hydrogen it becomes chloromethane or fluorine with carbon maybe with H hydrogen becomes fluoromethane okay Thank you for watching my video.